Hi, I am Mohamed Kubaisi. I'm a member of the editorial board of epilepsy.com. Uh, the vagal nerve stimulator is a, an interesting treatment for uh, individuals with, uh, with epilepsy. Uh, the uh, idea is based on uh, animal experiments done a long time ago uh, when the vagus nerve, uh, which is one of the cranial nerves that descends from the head to the chest, and it's important for a lot of autonomic functions including regulation of heart rate and other uh, what we call visceral uh, uh, controls uh, is stimulated electrically uh, and it was found that its stimulation uh, modulates the uh, seizure uh, thresholds and decreases the seizure frequency. Uh, to illustrate uh, the vagus nerve uh, descends in the neck to the chest and uh, the treatment uh, that is currently done in uh, individuals with intractable seizures uh, entails a little incision in the chest where the electrodes of the device are uh, put in contact with the nerve and there is another incision under the collarbone where the uh, stimulator itself that stimulates these electrodes is placed. The surgery can be done in approximately one hour or 80 minutes, so it's really uh, quick and it's done under uh, general anesthesia. Often the patients are able to go home the same day and they will return to the uh, epilepsy specialist's office to uh, activate the device after a while. Uh, often we start with uh, low uh, uh, parameters, low uh, stimulus intensity and uh, low frequency, uh, uh, low duty cycle, uh, and then uh, we escalate gradually uh, to titrate to the therapeutic response. How does it work is not uh, totally clear, but we know that it works by uh, sending the electric uh, message to the brain stem, uh, and there are a couple of structures there, including the nucleus of tractus solitarius and locus cerealis areas in the brain stem that project uh, to the surface of the brain or the cortex of the brain uh, with specific neurotransmitters including norepinephrine and it's possible that this activity and this synaptic transmission eventually ends up uh, inhibiting or reducing uh, the, the seizures. Uh, it's, it's a very interesting uh, uh, modality and uh, the uh, initial seizure reduction uh, may not be uh, very impressive, but if you look at one year later, often 50% of the individuals who have the vagal nerve stimulator implanted will experience 50% or more reduction of their seizure frequency. Uh, the way the clinical trials were conducted was interesting uh, because uh, everybody had to have the device implanted, but there was a group that was stimulated at uh, high uh, current intensity uh, and more frequently uh, than the other group which was stimulated less frequently and with low current intensities and it was found that the high parameters resulted in better therapeutic uh, response. The side effects of uh, the vagal nerve stimulator include the a hoarseness or cough, something related to the function of the actual nerve uh, that is being uh, uh, stimulated, uh, but these are adverse events that are different generally from those that are caused by the anti-seizure medications. So in general, in patients who experience improvement of uh, their seizure uh, frequency on the vagal nerve stimulator, uh, there could be the possibility of lowering their baseline medication dosages, which may result in improvement uh, uh, of the um, adverse event uh, issues. Um, the vagal nerve stimulator has been in use uh, since 19... 97 for epilepsy and more recently it gained another approval by FDA for use in depression although the data that led uh, to that uh, indication uh, uh, can be a little bit uh, controversial. What is currently going on which is intriguing uh, is uh, a vagal nerve stimulator that is uh, uh, programmed in a responsive fashion is being developed. That means the vagal nerve stimulator will detect heart rate and in the majority of seizures, there is some increase in the heart rate at the time of seizure. And the vagal nerve stimulator, when it detects this increase in the heart rate, will deliver the electric stimulation to the nerve in an attempt to abort the seizures. Uh, 
we uh, are waiting to see if this is going to lead to further improvement of um, of seizure control in individuals uh, who use the responsive vagal nerve stimulator. Currently, the vagal nerve stimulators that are available currently can be activated by the um, patients themselves or their caregivers by a magnet that can be swiped. And often individuals who tend to have uh, uh, warning signs for a seizure, also called auras, uh, they uh, may have the opportunity to swipe the, uh, the device by the magnet, uh, thus uh, ordering it to fire uh, immediately in an attempt to uh, uh, abort the seizure. And in a subset of individuals with epilepsy, this seems to work fine as well. The new development of uh, uh, designing a responsive vagal nerve stimulator that detects heart rate is a source of trying to uh, automate the same process, detect an early aura, although autonomic in this case, which is the increase in heart rate, and deliver the pulses in an attempt to uh, prevent the seizure from developing.